Right, time for my first grav jump. Hey, you. You're finally awake. I haven't played a Bethesda game since Skyrim, and now it's time for Skyrim in space! How's the investigation going? Starfield is a Bethesda game through and through. And depending on who you are, that's either a real bummer or an absolute delight. Now that I've been terminated, it's only a matter of time before they send you after me. So I'm taking matters into my own hands! Personally, I find it delightful. <laughs> This game is a massive, super customizable adventure through the cosmos where you'll discover characters and quests that will take you to hundreds of planets. But that's not why I love this game. Dusty, you're up. Grab a cutter and mine what you can. I don't even know if it's intentional at this point, but Bethesda NPCs are some of the funniest in gaming. I genuinely don't think I'd play this game if it didn't have that classic Bethesda charm. Nice. The whole game is just goofy, and that's probably why I love it. But the AI is absolutely the star of the show. Here we go. The assembly line. So take what's required. No more, no less. What? No! What are you doing, you stupid idiot? For the most part, the story is pretty interesting, and the combat is, well, Bethesda combat. Oh my god. Stop running. Oh my god. <laughs> Come back here. Where are you going? <laughs> but there's a lot of fun writing and funny character interactions that keep my interest peaked. What do you say we go 10 rounds? Right here, right now. Yeah, uh, well, luckily for you, I actually. <laughs> Personally, I just like pushing my companions off cliffs. However, most of the game does consist of going to point A and talking to someone, then going to point B and talking to someone else, then going back to point A and talking to the same person, then going to point C to talk to someone else, all using fast travel. For a game set in space, there's actually very little space. Uh, hey, that was my sandwich! I spammed L more times than I can count, tracked a quest, then fast travel to that destination to talk to a character. Rinse and repeat. Starfield boasts over a hundred different star systems with thousands of different planets to explore. When I first heard this during the game's development, I knew that just meant thousands of boring empty lands, and I was completely right. For a game advertised as being able to go on grand explorations through the cosmos and discovering new wonders and adventures, exploration is basically non-existent. If you venture outside of a planet's main city where all the quests and characters are, it's incredibly dull. There's nothing remotely interesting to find. It's just massive barren wastelands with an odd outpost with absolutely nothing on it. The good thing is that you don't need to do any exploring. You can just go on quests with your companions, who are always super enthusiastic about your adventures. Hey, thanks for your service. Are you, uh, are you right there, Sarah? Ready to head out there? And that's probably why I keep playing Starfield, because the characters and the stories are fun. Most of the game is just talking to people, but to be honest, I like it. Hey, are you looking for eggs too? <laughs> I've only found one so far, but I want to find more before anyone else does. Oh my god, kid, have you heard of personal space? But for a game with so much dialogue, the facial animations leave much to be desired. What the hell is the matter with you? But this is Bethesda here. I wouldn't have it any other way. So glad you militia rats finally showed up. Could have used you before Dalton bought it. Stand down, private. The game also has a bad habit of having 50 characters all speak at once. I'm gonna go check in with Chief I see. In classic Bethesda fashion, the worst part about the game is its poorly designed UI. Or maybe it's abysmal optimization? Managing my inventory is painful, with big uninformative giant boxes and having to go back and forth to try to remember which gun takes which ammo rather than just telling me when I buy ammo. Anyway, whatever. It's time to hit the cities! I actually found a lot of the story pretty interesting, both in the main questline and in random side quests. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. No way! I am not going to help you murder these people! 
And like most games with hundreds of quests, I bounce from one to the other forgetting the plot of just about every single one since I'd be distracted for two hours doing five different quest lines in the middle of another I started eight hours ago. Hey. This silence is getting awkward. This game should be boring to me. I should be finding it a slog, but for some reason I can't stop playing. Boo! <laughs> It's a beautiful, boring, quirky mess that has me cracking up every time I play. Ready to head out there? 